you new folks. Look, look what's happening here in the background. Stuff hanging up, boots, stuff into my office. Things charging. Battery's ready. WW20 coming soon. Details coming soon. Whoa, look at that. Coming to the garage. Oh, what's that there? Oh, what is it? Come on, Ian. Brand new. 2020 CRF 1100 Africa Twin DCT electronic suspension basically the full fat version and we're going at 3 o'clock in the morning to Scotland it's January why not let's go for it here's my babes it's massive. It's the Adventure Sport as well. So it's got about a 2,000 mile tank. And it's got this new beautiful touchscreen TFT with Apple CarPlay and everything in it. Oh man. It's basically got all the bells and whistles that the last one lacked. Was a few luxuries. And it's, it's now got it. Look at that juicy stuff down there. <laughs> so yeah folks. I'm shooting up solo to Scotland in the morning. I've been itching to get away for ages on my own. And when my lovely friends at Honda offered me this this week, well, I say offered me, I begged for it. I didn't really beg. They managed to come good and I've cleared a week in my diary I'm going to go up to Scotland. Full LED lights. Front end looks amazing. Cornering lights as well, these. The three stages look. One, two, three. So, however far you lean over, depends on how many lights light up for going around corners. How awesome is that? Oh, I'm so excited and pleased about this. Tomorrow, I'm leaving here at 3 o'clock in the morning. I think it's 480 miles. I thought if I go up early doors, motorways will be empty. But the other thing is, it's blowing a damn gale. There's a storm tonight, and it's been horrible here earlier, even to the point that I was thinking of calling it off. But at the moment, wind stopped, skies are clear. So I'm going to stick with the original plan and go for it. Just got to get everything loaded up, and then I've got to have an early night's sleep because I'm going to be knackered. Right, I need to get some sleep. See you in the morning. Good morning, folks. Well, it was touch and go a bit last night because people were messaging me saying, don't do it because of the storm Brendan coming over, coming over from, from the west. I mean, it, it was better in the house last night. At the moment, there's nothing. No wind, no rain. Well, she's all loaded up anyway. I think I'll play it by ear. I'm going to set off to do what I want to do. And um, if it gets to the point that it's getting stupid weather-wise, I'll just stop somewhere else. It'd be lovely if we could. The plan is to get all the way up to Doorknock tonight, which is it's about ten and a half hours ride in total. All these panniers have come with brand new Honda uh, waterproof bags inside. That one belongs in this pannier, but this pannier's got my electronics cabin case and it fits perfectly in there. So I've used that. Believe it or not, I've got my toiletry bag in there and two meals from HelloFresh. We are HelloFresh users. I love it. Mega food. I've got two full meals in there to be able to make when I go up to the house in Doorknock or wherever I end up. Save a bit of money. All about saving, folks. Right, I'm gonna get my clobber on and um, get on the road. Wish me luck. All right, good morning, folks. I know you can't really see much, but we are on the road. Welcome on board this brand new 2020 Africa Twin Adventure Sports. Me and you are hopefully gonna get to Scotland today. 
top of Scotland, the Highlands, right at the top. We've got a long way to go and we've got all day to do it in. But the weather at the moment, as you can see, is perfect. But uh, I can feel the winds brewing. There's been weather warnings for the wind. So stick with me and we'll see what we can achieve together on this fantastic new bike. We're going to jump on the motorway in a second and then we're going to be spending 80% of the day on it. M1 North, Junction 29. Here we start our long journey north. Let's settle in, get this uh, cruise control on and uh, we'll see you hopefully north of the border. Alright folks, I'll be back later on. Wish me luck. Well folks, as you can see, it's still dark, but the sun is coming up. It is now um, 25 to 8, and we're now in Scotland. I didn't get time to switch the camera on just as I went through the bloody border. So I'm a bit annoyed about that, but we're in Scotland now. There's the sea. I can see the sea. I've been dropping asleep. I've been struggling, really struggling. But anyway, it's woke me up a bit now. I've just seen the, the, the Welcome to Scotland sign. I'm going to turn off again until the sun comes up. I've just seen a sign for high winds as well, so do need to be a little bit careful. All right, folks, I'll be back in a bit. Good morning, by the way. Good morning and welcome. The sun's up. And we are in Edinburgh. Very near to Edinburgh, should I say. It took forever for the sun to come up. It's now quarter to nine and it's only just got light. But yeah, we're going to head to uh, Braemar. And how many miles so far? 300. And it's, uh, yeah, quarter to nine. On the road for three o'clock. Yeah. There's one thing I dislike already about this bike and I wouldn't have known if I'd have not set off in the dark. No illuminated switch gear. Bugger it. You know, it's looking like it's going to be a nice day, you know. I know there's been lots of Midlothian. Welcome to Midlothian. I know there's been a lot of um, people messaging saying don't do not do it because of the wind. And it has been a little bit windy. And there's warnings for wind, but loads of blue sky. The sun's coming up nice and we're dry, so. I don't know how, how long it's going to stay like that. I can see mountains in the distance. Obviously you can't get to grips with the bike sat on motorway. I was struggling on the motorway as well, really struggling. Having to sing to myself to try and wake myself up. How nice is that screen? Apple CarPlay on your bike. Mega. Mega. But there's one downfall which is a bit uh, crap. And that is to get Apple CarPlay on, you have to have your headset connected to it. And because I've been on the road for hours and hours and hours, my headset is showing a low battery for some weird reason. It's never done, it's never conked out before the end of play on any day. I know I set off at three o'clock this morning, but uh, it's um, it still should see me through easy. It'll do a day and a half normally, but I keep getting the low battery warnings. So if the battery goes on the headset, that means Apple CarPlay goes. That means there's no sat nav, which means I'll have to revert to going through my phone. How I normally do it, which is fine, but it's a bit naughty, isn't it? When you've got the like the Apple CarPlay on my van, I just plug my phone in, and that's it. My phone's plugged in, but if for some reason it has to connect to the headset for it to work. So if my headset does go, I'll probably have to pull up somewhere, go for a coffee somewhere, and uh, put some juice back in the headset. I've got a few battery power banks. I've got my heated Blazeway Gilet on. Oh, it's lovely body is just like lovely and warm I've got layers on as well just like uh, I've got base layer bottoms base layer top and then another base layer top on on top of that as a layer separate layer and then my heated gilet on top of that and then my jacket and then I've also got a head balaclava on and my wild bad uh, neck buff thing heater grips on I'm saying it is hang on what we have to do here to get back to the Africa twin screen look you just click that it's nine degrees. It's, it's bloody cold. The wind chill is quite bad. I'm very happy to be off at motorway though. I can't stand it on motorway. It's just um, 
It's hard work. I found it hard work. <laughs> when I came through the Scottish border, the big sign saying "Welcome to Scotland," here in the Scottish borders, I'm like bollocks. I didn't have my, I couldn't get my camera on quick enough to to do it. And I sh there's a lay-by there. Really, I should have pulled into the lay-by so I could have taken a picture. Well, picture with the bike next to it, but uh, I didn't get a chance. Well, I'm very glad that I've committed to it, folks. When I went to bed last night, I went to bed about nine o'clock, half nine, I thought I'm probably not going to be going because of this. I was checking weather forecast everywhere and it looked terrible. I just thought, we'll see. I woke up this morning, it would dry at home. And then, uh, I just thought, sorry, I'm going for it. If I got so far up here and it were really bad, I could have just stopped, couldn't I? Found somewhere else or something else to do. I'd forgot how much I love the sound of this bike. It sounds awesome. It says 100 mile to Braemar. I still think I need to do a bit of tweaking with this screen and the headset because I've got next to no volume coming through my headset. I've got the volume at the highest through the screen. My phone's on the highest. My headset's on the highest, but for some reason it's, it's crap. Can't take a phone call because I can't hear a thing. Laura and Georgie just rung me and I couldn't even hear them. But you know, obviously I've done that slog up here from three o'clock. I feel like I've just woke up. Now I'm here, I feel fresh. Like I've only just started. And that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to do all the hard work at motorway while the, while the sun was still asleep and then start afresh from being up here. And that's what I've done. So, feels good. I had a coffee at about five o'clock this morning. Yeah, set up at three. Had a coffee at five and a bit of breakfast at McDonald's and and then now I'm about ready again now. My first impressions of these brakes are not so great. I don't know if they need to be bedded in or what, but they seem they feel spongy. So I don't know. Yeah, I'm hoping all the bad weather came and blew itself out during the night. I know it was terrible at home last night. It sounded like it was going to come through living room window. We we're banging that bad, that heavy. Self-cancelling indicators. These, uh, one thing I have noticed by riding up here in the dark that I really liked, those cornering lights on the front are amazing. Absolutely amazing. Dead, dead bright. And when you start banking over, they just light all the side of the road up. The further over you go, the more they light up. The further round they light up. Absolutely brilliant. We're all um, due, due back down at Toro soon, folks, for a bit of fun and frolics. Me, Bruce, Chops and TMF. Oh, and two wheels and a ponytail and chef. Be lovely to see everybody again and just to enjoy having a bit of fun. And then I've got two wild bad Toro cowboy tours booked. One in May and one in June. The one in June's full. There's still a little bit of time. There's still a few spaces for the May one. But basically, if you've seen the cowboy tour that I did with them last year, um, it's that exact tour. Might be tweaked a little bit, I don't know. But yeah, pretty much that exact tour. Um, but just uh, not available on the Toro website, but available through me as uh, a wild bad version of it. So I'm looking forward to that. If it's something you're into, you'll be up for. Drop me an email, rich at wildbadtouring.com The fuel thing on this is amazing. Um, so to get it back to the thingy screen, because we're on Apple Play at the moment, CarPlay, you press this little um, CarPlay button, just pull it towards you, and it takes you straight back to the Africa Twin screen. Still got 78 mile left in tank, it's amazing. I love how I'm up here and it's still only the very beginning of the day, people are just starting to go to work. I head into Braemar now, so 50 miles, hour and 15 minutes, half past 12 arrival. And then I think it's another couple of hours, at least, up to Graham. Up to Dornock. But well, I've got enough fuel now to get me, uh, yeah, 300 mile to get me all the way there. 300 mile on a tank, it's pretty cool, that is. Someone made a good point earlier, though. I was reading uh, comments about it. Um, you know the, the the extra you pay for an adventure sports having the the big tank 
it's all very well if you're riding on your own but if you're riding in a group it makes no difference does it because no one else has got that size tank so you'll have to fill up just as often as everybody else never really thought of it like that before what's temperature down to now 10 degrees still I might have to put the heater grips on a bit hotter again I was reading a few reports and reviews from journalists who'd, who'd uh, taken this bike um, and they were moaning about the the screen being too complicated and too too much stuff on it I don't know why, why would you complain about stuff that it has? you complain about stuff that it doesn't have and a lot of them were moaning about it takes forever to find your heated grips I'll show you how long it takes to find your heated grips, hang on see what this car's doing so you've got your function switch on your right hand switch gear at the top, FN look and you've got the same switch on your left hand, FN next to your Apple CarPlay button one activates your function the other changes the function so your heater grips are found with one click pull the function button, watch the dash heater grips, then use your left button to adjust put them on full, done a couple of seconds later it'll go off there you go it is lovely to be out on the bike on me Todd Woo! on unfamiliar roads I've been wanting to do this for ages that's why I thought sorry I'm coming up here a couple of days just dicking about on this fantastic bike and yeah it's a bit windy but that's nothing to worry about is it nothing at all beautiful beautiful Scotland so tomorrow I plan to um, I've got a base in Doorknock tomorrow I plan to go up to John O'Groats because I've never been up there before and take, a, take the obligatory photo and then uh, work my way around across the top of the coast so basically the NC500 not really doing the NC500 but I'll be doing some of the roads in the NC500 oh, I should have gone down there, cock it not paying attention 43107 42107 there you go yeah doing some of the roads in it so uh, all the way around the top of the country and uh, might get over to Sky or whatever I don't know I did actually look about getting onto uh, the Orkneys I've never been on there before but uh, with the uh, the weather the wind uh, the sailings might not be crossing so I don't, I don't know plus I don't, I don't even know if I've got enough time to do that but when I'm up at uh, John O'Groats I'll definitely have a look at it see if it's doable that must be a lovely way of life up there being that far out of the you know you've got obviously Scotland then you've got the Highlands and then you've got the Orkneys which are you know way out of it well I'm a little update on my Blazeware heater Gilet so I know I've been on the road for a long 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 time today set off at 3 this morning so it's 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 I've been on the road 8 and a half hours and I'm still nowhere near finishing yet but anyway I've gone through two batch, two full power banks on my uh, heated jacket so I don't know I know like I said I know I've been on the road a long time but that's too much for me I, I, don't, I don't know I don't like that it's lovely lovely and warm but it just sucks too much power that's two full power banks and obviously now I've got to ride the rest of it freezing so maybe it's only good for doing your short runs not really taking on tour maybe you do need to have the the tethered kind to do that I hope you can see alright through that mucky screen up front I have to give it a clean in a bit I've got no discomfort whatsoever for saying I've been sat on my arse for 8 hours, 8 and a half hours no discomfort on my bum whatsoever I'm very comfy actually how stunning is Scotland nice little bridge we're going over in a minute by the looks of it
beautiful. Oh, I miss this, really missed it. I feel like I need to reconnect with the road, man. Yeah, definitely gonna have to look at tethered heated clothing then, because that's no good, is it? I mean, the power banks take forever to deplete normally. And that, I think I think they're both 10,000 milliamp, and uh, it's depleted both of them in no time. I feel quite wobbly on this sometimes when I'm at crawling speed. I feel quite wobbly because it seems like a it is very it's a very tall bike. Nice wheel. Balmoral Garage. We're not near Balmoral, are we? Hey, <laughs> it's all kicking off with Royal Family, isn't it? Ooh, good old Harry. Megan's whistled into it, Royal Family and decided, nope, I don't like that. It's far too much work. You have to be far too proper. And now uh, she's um, dragging him away from his family, this silly cow. of this road now, 33 miles to Braemar. Snow Road Scenic Route, follow A93. This could be a cracking road. Should we give the manual box a, a try? Let's go to manual. All right. So we're in third. Drop to second. I prefer it, or I prefer the last one in Sport Auto. But we'll keep it in manual, but see how we get on. The drive mode is rubbish. It just changes far too quickly for like economy. Um, but the changes are seamless, dead smooth. Snow everywhere. Be a little careful. Yeah, one thing I found, which is a little bit annoying. Obviously, so you've got your maps on, haven't you? through your Apple CarPlay but then if you want to pull up unplug your phone to take a picture obviously it disconnects all your Apple CarPlay and then well, well I don't know if it does it all the time but it just did it with me when I plugged it back in and brought it brought the map straight back up but then it just said add destination so it, it, it took everything off so like reset it all which is a bit crap this is wicked wicked well this is the first snow i've seen this winter yeah it's snow on road look <laughs> oh dear need to be a bit careful then yeah plenty of snow at middle of the road careful does it gonna let me push mud can't do that there uh, shit I might be I might be in trouble here uh, Snowing like mad up there. As much as I want to get my DSLR out, I'm just going to do one with the iPhone. And then reset my bloody thingy again. It's annoying, very annoying. Right, 
Let's get out of here. It actually is snowing. <laughs> this could go quite horribly wrong here, couldn't it? I just realised. Need to get out of here. Right, steady, steady, steady does it. I can't believe how much that's changed. From the bloody coffee we had with the sun, and now I'm in the snow. Maybe I ought to change modes as well because I've got it set to the most powerful. Uh, yeah. Oops. Bit out of the comfort zone now. Let's have a look. Right, get that off that, and then tour. That's it. So it's down on power, down on engine braking, full traction. That's it. That's it. Right. I'm glad I've got that photo, but I have got to get out of here in case it chucks it down. If it chucks it down with snow, I'm in trouble. Real trouble. Pick your line, do not slip. I'm a little bit nervous, folks, I've got to admit. Jesus, it looks bad up there. I'd be really panicking if I was on the VFR now. I need to relax a bit, I'm tense up, I'm a bit nervous. I'm on the right bike for it, so it doesn't matter. Traction's on. Engine braking's not so bad. Just not gonna drag the back end. I'm nervous, but I'm 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 in seventh heaven really. I did not expect to be doing this today. I've been riding since three o'clock this morning. <laughs> well, it's obviously still passable because this car's coming, so can't be that bad, can it? Well, how amazing does this look? How amazing does this look? take forever to get there at this rate. Oh, I'm really tense up. Oh, my back's aching and everything. Can't see a thing in front lot. Shit in hell. Jesus. Am I dreaming or something? Oh my god. It's temperature. Five. It is a bloody ski route. Man. 
this is very unnerving but oh it does it does pop does pop I've got snow all over my visor Nice love my visor. Jesus. This is a bit worrying now. Oh. I did not expect this. Can't see a thing. Jesus. Oh. I cannot hang around here. These cars have been abandoned by the looks of it. Shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh shit in hell. Please don't drop this bike. Ski resort, look. Open. Shit, you know. Glenshi Ski Centre. Yeah, I'm loving this. The only thing I can think, if I get off this and down the other side, it'll be lower, so it won't be so bad, will it? Uh, four degrees. <clears throat> oh. Jesus. As beautiful as this is, folks, I am now shitting myself. No joke. This is not ideal on two wheels, is it? I'm dead tense and I'm shaking. <laughs> Come on now, thin back out. Still seven miles to Braemar. And there's Tom and Tool before getting up to Dornock. Oh, look at this. It's absolutely stunning. Just way out of my comfort zone. I bet Honda UK are watching this going, don't you dare! Oh my god. clearer down here look I could be in bloody Alaska somewhere here God I've got massive chunks of it on this bloody visor I've got snow Shit, I've got snow and ice all over me. Please don't get any worse than that. What an amazing road, what an amazing landscape. What an amazing experience that was, is. 
not over yet, is it? <coughs> Genuinely folks, I did not expect to be doing this today I've been on the road since three o'clock this morning and look It's not even funny anymore. It's beautiful. It's stunning, but I am genuinely shitting myself Look at me I've got to go All fastened on to. Can't believe this. Oh no, I don't say I've got ice inside my visor now. I don't I could really really do without that. No. Shit. This is where I need my dark visor or my uh, pin lock. Inside my visor steaming up now. Snow roads, scenic route. That, it don't sound good, does it? That was quite worrying, that was. Six degrees, she's going back up now. Wow, just look at this. What a privilege. That's enough snow for today. I can't believe that. I wonder what the altitude were there. Blue look, back to... Back. Have I just dreamt that? No, definitely not dreamt it. There's still snow on my screen and still snow on my suit. Nothing like um, a bit of dinner time panic to uh, sort you out. This has been absolutely fantastic. I, 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 now I'm not panicking. I just realised how amazing that was. Well, for saying that today's journey was just getting here, I didn't expect to be... Oh, I didn't expect... I nearly didn't even film it. Road's closed when lights are flashing. That's normally an indication that it's... Uh, that it can be a dodgy road. Sure, we've been up here before. Must have come up here when we did the NC500. does look very familiar. Graham, can you confirm or deny that, please? Thank you. Oh, I nearly went up there then. I need to push on a bit. I don't know how long it is from the next destination, Tomintool, I don't know how you pronounce it, to Doorknock. I'm on tour now, yes! <laughs> oh yeah, fantastic. Fan bloody tastic. This is why you come on tour, folks. This is reminding me of Norway again. You know, I've gone from like blue blue sky, dry roads to being right up in mountains with the snow. Oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no. Not again. I'm going to go through it again, aren't I? Look at it over there. It's got wheelie control on this as well. But I'm not sure how you do it with it being DCT. I guess it's a power wheelie, but... Uh, we'll have to have a look, won't we? Yeah, shouldn't have any problems power wheeling. Nailing it in first and second. I do like a little wheelie. I'm not risking this on these corners, no way. It's not got protection bars on either, so if it goes down, it's gonna make a freaking mess. And then that would definitely be me outstaying my welcome. <laughs> yeah, folks, it's six degrees. Hang on, six. 
Yeah, six degrees look. But with the wind chill, it it feels zero, feels absolutely freezing. Yeah, I'm heading right into it, aren't I? <laughs> This sun. Wicked. A lot of mountain rescue up here. That's not a good sign either. And I'm climbing. Oh no. What a privilege to be able to ride up here while weather's like this. This is a wicked bike. The more time I spend on it, the more I love it. It's got a real muscular stance. People keep asking me to compare it or just interested to see how I feel about this and the and the GS1250. That GS1250 is a mega, mega bike. But I think this looks better than it. I definitely think this looks better. And this definitely sounds better. I've seen that bloody Ah, ski word again now, Jesus. Highland tourist route. Snow road, scenic route. Let's go snow road, scenic route, just in case, eh? And then the next port of call after Tom in Tool is Graham's place where I can get a hot bath and sleep. I've even brought my own meals. <laughs> Wowzers. <laughs> I can't believe it. I can't believe it. What a day today's been. It's not over yet. By the end of today, I'll have done the official running in mileage of this bike. 695 mile, I think it is. So yeah, definitely be ready for a service when it goes back. Highland Tourist Route. See folks, look at that. You can get up in the Midlands of the UK, right it pretty much in the heart of the UK. Get up nice and early and you can be in the Highlands of Scotland by the end of play. This is steep. Watches 250 yards or something. Oh man, look at this! I've got it to myself. I've got this road to myself. Well, me and Gritter. <laughs> That's probably why I've got it to myself. Wow. Scotland, you beautiful, beautiful, beautiful place. Malt whiskey country. Then live it a state. Whiskey country. 
Yeah, for my uh, overseas viewers, this is where your Glenlivet comes from. Oh, you know what? I'm so privileged, not only to be able to ride brand new bikes like this, but being able to just hop on your bike first thing in the morning and be in beautiful Scotland by the end of the day. Well, by, the, by midday, it's only, it's 20 past one. Knocked my socks off. Knocked my socks off. Those of you that have never been to Scotland, come on, I mean, well, I hope this shows you. Don't get me wrong, it's lovely to go to Spain where it's hot and what have you, but you don't need to. And don't just dismiss Scotland like, oh, it's just Scotland. If you've never, if you've never, <laughs> pay attention, boy. If you've never been, you absolutely have to come up and do this. Just look at these roads. I know I'm obsessed with the temperature, folks, but you like to know what is beneath you, don't you? God, I'm freezing. My body's freezing now. Highland tourist route, folks, to Tomintool. Braemar to Tomintool. Oh, Glenfiddich that side. Oh, Glenfiddich that way, Glenlivet this way. I don't know what to do. Well, folks, I haven't had a drop of alcohol since uh, Boxing Day. Another two hours. Wait a minute. I know where we are. Oh, well, this is where we met uh, Mr. Paul Barnes. Yeah, we parked up there and we went for food over there somewhere. I remember. I just wish it weren't so busy. 88 more mile folks, to the door I think, another two hours, that's a shift isn't it, a shift and you know what, one, one of my favourite days ride in god knows how long, totally out of my comfort zone, especially up there in Braemar, yeah there's just far too much traffic up here, it gets on your nerves a bit really. That's having a photo, definitely. Folks, what a bloody day. What an amazing, amazing day. Oh, I'm so chuffed about this. Right, brake off. Into gear, into gear. Let's go. Um, that's on, that's on. 1.7 miles return. Slow it down, slow it down. Look at all this bloody slush everywhere. We don't want to get into that, do we? As long as it don't get any worse than this, snow on the ground wise, I mean, on the road, we'll be fine. Yeah, that's the only thing, see folks, when, you bat when your headset dies, you can't have your maps through there anymore. And I don't think that's very good. Your phone's still plugged in, why, is it, why can it not work like that? Maybe that's a firmware thing that could be changed later on. It's going to start getting dark soon, you know. It's two o'clock now. It's been going dark at home about four o'clock. Obviously, we're a lot further north now, aren't we? So, we didn't get light this morning until about nine o'clock. Sun's very low now. 40 minutes to go, folks. 40 minutes to go. What a belting day. Oh, I'm shivering a bit now though. I'm definitely going to have a hot bath, warm my core back up. Oh cool, We're going over a dead long flat close to the water bridge. See it down there, 
today has been wicked really really wicked I don't know how I've had the energy to do this today I've had, uh, it'll be like 12 and a half hours by the time I get to the house and I've had I had a coffee when I woke up I had a coffee when I had my McDonald's breakfast which was five o'clock then I went to another McDonald's so I could charge my headset and had another coffee there that's it I didn't have any more food just a coffee and it's probably uh, been having three weeks off at booze that's helped me this is cool isn't it look let's get up another look five to three We've been in the saddle for 12 hours, folks. 12 hours, three o'clock this morning I set off. That's unbelievable. <laughs> it's almost like it doesn't even feel like I've done it. Means to an end, folks, a means to an end. Dornach, there we go, 29 miles to go. Oh, yeah, actually, yeah, 29 miles. Brilliant. And that's gonna take us 37 minutes. It's absolutely bizarre, really, the, the difference in scenery that we've had today. This this looks like we've not even had any snow. I just think that we were driving through that bloody blizzard earlier. <laughs> Unbelievable! Ten minutes to destination, folks. Ten minutes to destination. That's the little town of Tain just over there. Where... Um, Glen Morangy is distilled. The big distillery. This is Dornock Firth. Look at all those mountains up there. Look. Whoa. I can't believe how good it's been today. I genuinely can't. It's been very, very special today. How's about that for a shift? <laughs> well folks, we made it. And so did the Africa twin. Unscathed. Is that uh, Seagull still here? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. hours 13 hours in the saddle and almost 500 miles oh, I don't feel too bad considering considering I've been riding through blizzards and freezing cold weather all the way all the way up here I've had no food since five o'clock this morning I don't feel too bad I'm sure I'll crash in a bit but um, that's been one hell of a day bike's been brilliant and uh, yeah, one hell, one hell of a ride that. Anyway, everything's charging. Ready for tomorrow. See what tomorrow will bring. I've had a bath as well to try and warm my core up. Because I am freezing. Oh, yeah. I probably could have stayed in bath actually. Oh, I'm asleep as well. Mm. Yeah, I don't think much will be happening tonight. I'm going to transfer all today's footage, get everything charged, and then I'll probably yeah, get a bite to eat, and that'll be about it, I think. Anyway, let's see what tomorrow brings. <sighs> Mammoth day. Mammoth day. Oh.